So the Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 7 update just dropped recently and people are already experiencing FPS drops and stuttering as usual with new updates. Therefore, I decided to show you some of the tweaks that I always do after a new update to help me boost FPS and get rid of random FPS drops in Fortnite. Hey everyone, I'm Rek and today I'm gonna show you guys how to fix FPS drops in Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 7 and also boost FPS. Without wasting any more of your time, let's dive straight into it. So the very first thing that you guys want to do is go down into the description of this video and download the Fortnite Season 7 Optimization Pack. Right click on it and extract it using 7-zip or WinRAR, whatever you want, then go ahead and open it up. Inside of here, you guys will find a bunch of files and folders, however, we are going to be starting off by deleting the Fortnite game cache files. In order to do that, all you guys need to do is right click on the delete Fortnite cache.bat, run it as administrator, then it will ask you do you want to delete the Fortnite cache, it will only reset graphics settings, controls and other settings will remain same. Press any key to continue and the Fortnite cache has been deleted successfully. So after you are done with this step, I highly recommend you to go ahead and launch Fortnite, go into the settings and change all of the settings to your desired settings. And if you want to know the best settings for Fortnite, then do check out my best Fortnite settings video. I know that's a lot of settings, but settings are important. So once you are done with setting all of those settings, moving on to the next step and that is disabling the UAC. Now this will not particularly increase FPS or help you with performance or anything, it will just make the workflow a lot easier and smoother because it removes that dialog box that comes up every time you try to run something as an admin. So right click on the disable uac.reg, merge, hit yes and then hit ok. If you want to enable it, just go ahead and enable UAC but I highly recommend you to disable it. Then go back into the pack and now we're gonna go at the top and into the batch tweaks. Inside of here you will find a bat file called the useful tweaks and if I go ahead and open it up, what it will do is apply the PCD edit tweaks, disable power saving features on your USB and Ethernet drivers, run some net sh commands that will tremendously help you with ping, disable spectre and meltdown, disable telemetry, disable process mitigations. And all of that good stuff. So what you need to do is right click on it, run it as administrator and then let it do its work. So once everything is done, go back into the pack once more and this time go into the data queue sizes optimization. This is going to tremendously help you with the input delay with your keyboard and mouse. So open up the readme and it just shows the default value and setting a very low value can cause clicks or keys not registering and even pointer teleportation. So first off, we are going to be changing the mouse data queue size. I have provided the 20 decimal reg value which you can just go ahead right click hit merge hit yes hit ok and it should work perfectly fine however if you have older hardware then you might want to set this value above 20 and if you have a newer hardware then you might want to set it below 20 so in order to do that just go ahead and double click on the mouse reg key dot pad and this will open up the registry editor inside of here open up the mouse data key size d word value and change it to decimal then you can go ahead and set this value to whatever you want for me personally through testing 20 works the best for me and that's what i recommend most of the people if you experience any clicks not registering or mouse teleportation just go ahead and set this value to around 30 that should work perfectly fine for almost everyone so hit ok then close out of this go back go into the two keyboard data key size and the same thing applies here just right click hit much hit yes hit ok and if you want to set it to a lower value then go ahead and open up the bat file open up the keyboard data key size set to decimal and then go ahead and change its value to a lower or a higher number so for me i do have a good keyboard and i usually like to set it at around 16. so go ahead and type in 16 hit ok close out of this so this generally depends on your hardware so once you're done with that go into the power tweaks and inside of here the first thing that you want to do is open up registry right click on the nsudo lg.exe run it as administrator enable all privileges and the first thing that we are going to be doing is disabling the gpu energy driver so just go ahead and drag this reg file onto the nsudo, run it as administrator, hit yes, hit ok. Then we are going to be disabling the power throttling which I am pretty sure that everyone is aware of now. So just drag this, hit run, hit yes, hit ok and then the import power plan dot reg. I actually got this from the ggos server. It basically makes every dot pow uh, file clickable. So importing power plans is a lot easier than running an import command. So just go ahead and drag this onto nsudo, hit run, hit yes, hit ok. 
and then go back and now you should see that the request power plant should have this little battery icon with it and now it should be clickable so just go ahead and double click on it and this is going to import the request power plan onto your power options so open up your start menu then search for power choose a power plan select the request power plan and then you, what you want to do is delete all of the default power plans and you can also restore them if you do want to so just go for the default power plans delete.cmd right click run as admin and it should basically delete the default power plans except for high performance so go back into the pack once more and there is one last thing that i want you to do and that is use the win32 priority separator.txe a program made by me and i have a full video detailing about it which you can check out from here but i'm gonna go ahead and quickly show you guys what to do so right click on it run it as admin make sure that you run it as admin otherwise it might not work properly read the disclaimer hit ok and here are a bunch of Win32 values that you can use in order to boost FPS and reduce input delay. The ones that I recommend testing with are the 26 which is the default one actually, 16 hex and 14 hex. For me personally I use this one, the value provided by Adam FFFFF3F91 and it works best for me. So just go ahead and select any of the values that you know works best for you. Click on it, hit OK, close and that's it. You are basically done with all of the optimizations. Now go ahead and launch Fortnite and enjoy the game. But before you leave, make sure to leave a like because these videos take a lot of time to produce and only a 10% of you watching my videos are subscribed. So guys hit that subscribe button right now so you never miss another optimization video just like this one. With that, I guess I'll see you in the next one. Until then, stay awesome.